choose that job as your first job, yeah, the potential's great. Yeah, you know, there's the other way too. Yeah, and I, I get my thoughts. And I've been part of the other way. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's a high risk, high reward type job. And, uh, the Buffalo job in our circle, coaching circle, may have been the highest risk job at the time, right. without question. Right. So. And, because it can go, yeah, it's extreme. It's either one way or the other right. at a job like that. So one of the things I thought of was, what, what does 20 and 30 in Buffalo translate to? Oh, it's huge. At, at some other place. You know, yeah, people you, are going to look at that record. And, you you know, can't look at the record. Right. There, there, there are situations, and I can tell you that for sure, there are situations that you have to throw the record out, the overall right. record, yeah. because people don't realize the Welcome to KU, Chuck. Thank you. Hey. Good to see you, yeah, buddy. Great to see I'll you. catch up with okay. you. Ernie. Uh, hey, Dennis. Hey, Bernie, how are you? Uh, people don't realize what it took from day one to get over that winning hump. It's it's incredible amount of work to get that done right. All facets. And I can assure you that uh, he spent a great deal of his time with a lot of non X's and O matters. Is the way I put it. Just getting enough just, speed. Yeah. Just getting everything up to a Division One level right. it takes an incredible amount of work, and along that process, you have to, you know, you're going to lose some games to get to that point where you can go over that. So when people mention overall record, it, it's just right. you can't look at that. Right. It, it's, it's what <laughs> what he did at that particular place, and I can assure you, in our circles. We thought he was going to the Buffalo Bills. <laughs> and when we heard it was the Buffalo Bulls, all of us to a man, a coaching man, said, What? Who's was that a college football program? They just started. They just started. And it was an incredible leap. Yeah. Incredible leap. Chuck, when did he contact you? And, did, and you must have climbed on board right away. You obviously had right. a real connection with the tournament. Yeah. Right. Um, Right after, uh, you know, right as soon as he was contacted you know, about the job, and, uh, you know, shortly after, uh, you know, they let Coach Mangino go, and, and the transition happened, and as soon as uh, uh, Lou started to get his candidates together, Turner contacted me at that point. And, it, and I would think there would be other, probably, head coaching candidates out there would be interested in you as an offense coordinator, because you obviously, you, you got on, on this train in the beginning. And just stay with him. I did. Uh, I, I've known him, I've known Turner for a long time. I've admired admired his work. We overlapped in the Big 12 when he was at Nebraska as a coach. I was at Oklahoma. We had some we had some epic battles against each other during that time. We had a number one versus number two battle back in 2000. If you guys remember that. Uh, obviously, <laughs> Turner and I go way back. We played against each other in college. We played out at Nebraska. Uh, we played each other a couple times when we were a player. When I was a player, and I was at Nebraska. So. I, I follow his career, I'm, and uh, of course he got into coaching in Nebraska for a long time, and then, and then uh, of course the Buffalo situation, we all went our separate ways, but uh, I think it's just, in our business professionally, you, you, you look at the work that you do against each other, I think that has a lot to do with it, uh, as opposed to someone that you don't know about on, on either coast, but uh, that's kept us, I guess, in touch with each other for, for the most part. But this was a, the combination of going with Coach Gill and the University of Kansas for me was a no-brainer. It was an easy decision. To answer, yeah, I had some uh, other, I would, you know, I would say interviews. And, uh, I wanted to, I was in a situation, a very rare situation where I could go to the right place and the right fit. Uh, the coach is able to do that. So I was in a very rare situation that way because um, I was still under contract with San Diego State. So it, it gave me a chance to, to step back and say, hey, I need to go with the right, right person and, and the right fit. The combination of both Kansas and Turner Gill, easy to say. And the Midwest probably helped too. And the Midwest. You know, I have a Midwest roots. Big 12 roots, you know, I'm, I'm back in the Big 12, and, and I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, he, he's, he's a very strong person. He's very strong. He's, he has a strong will, and you can feel that. 
when you're around him all the time. Um, he knows exactly what he wants to do. And he admires guys like that. There's no, uh, he's very passionate. And what I like about him is how he wants to develop students. He cares about those, those guys, those, those young men on his football team. You can feel that with him. Every time you talk to him on the phone, even though you're on the phone, you can feel that. But um, he, he has some outstanding leadership qualities. He really does. How would you work underneath him and he's the right well, guy? He's a tremendous leader and he's a guy that, that coached that, that you want to follow. I mean, he, he's very strong in his conviction. Uh, uh, very strong will and what he wants to do, and, and you like that. He, he'll, you know he's going to set this team on the right path in a, in a good way, with the right direction. And uh, when he called me, and I, I did not hesitate. For, for him, for sure, to couple that with the University of Kansas and where that where it is now, uh, it was a no-brainer for me. Took me for all of ten seconds, so <laughs> maybe maybe sooner than that. He's uh, I'm excited. I, I mean, we've worked against each other. I admire his work over the years, especially at Nebraska and then at Buffalo. Way years ago, we've overlapped in the Big Twelve. Um, <laughs> this is probably a lot like your fraternity. It's a very close fraternity, and I always tell guys that want to get into this deal. Hey, don't ever, you know, don't ever. Number one, don't ever burn a bridge because you're gonna you're gonna always cross paths with people, and um, always stay in touch. Always uh, uh, make sure you're very professional with guys and treat them the right way because chances are you're either gonna play against them or you're gonna work with them. <laughs> and, and in this case, Carl and I have gone from working, uh, playing against each other to working together, sure. and it's I think it's gonna be a great thing. Chuck, it's very unusual. To be introducing a new offensive or defensive coordinator at his introductory news conference. Where were you traveling from, and how much did you want to be a part of this? Well, they called me up. You know, I, I agree. I, you know, this is this is Turner Bill's day, and as, as it should be. And um, they, he called me up and said, "Hey, you want to you want to come to the press conference? I'd love for you to come." I mean, that's the kind of guy he is. Um, very humble. And, I said, I, I, I love to come if you're inviting me. <laughs> so uh, that's how it all came about. I was, I've been in San Diego, still have a, still have a home there, and uh, I didn't hesitate to get out of plane and, you know, and got here yesterday. But, but that says a lot about him and his humility. Because and, and, uh, a lot of coaches, you're right, they, they wouldn't do that. But uh, he, he did it, and I said, sure. I'd be, I'd be glad to be there to support you. As it is with him, does your work start right away? Oh, right away, right away. Um, you know, like he talked about, we're going to meet with the, the young men, the, the football team tonight. Transition is never easy. Uh, and I know they've gone through some transition, a tough transition. So we're going to try to uh, smooth that situation as uh, quickly as possible tonight. You know, we're anxious to meet everybody and see everybody. It'll take a few months or so to get to know everybody personally, but tonight is going to be a, a step in that direction. And then it's, like you said, it's recruiting. We only have one more week before the dead period starts. So, uh, you know, I, I talked to Turner a little bit about it. We, we need to get to some of those commitments. Uh, we get to all those commitments see, and start there. And, and I'm sure we're going to be watching a lot of recruiting tape in the next few days. But um, obviously it's on his schedule, so we're going to be at it right away. Is it a good time for you? I mean, they lose so many prolific offensive players from this school. They right. lose a first-round underclassman receiver. I mean, there was going to be a change and transition anyway. So does that make this process easier for you guys to come in and introduce what you want to do? Sure. Uh, it, it, it does in a way yeah. uh, because they had a bunch of seniors on offense and, and to some degree, although we don't want to completely start over, you try to do things that they're familiar with. And to be honest with you guys, there's – there's base packages that everybody runs in college football. I mean, that's just the way it is. It's how you, it's how you uh, uh, dress it up and how you work it and how you call it is the difference. So there's going to be a lot of familiar schemes that they'll recognize. Oh, yeah, we know that. That's been around 100 years. You know? <laughs> so, um, but at the same time, 
you know, you, you got change is inevitable in, in, in life and in anything. And this is part of it. And w one of the things we'll talk about is, hey, you have to you have to adapt to that change quickly, or you get left behind. And, and 